Heat seeking warhead. We've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. Reading shift to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance. Releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Siren losses now exceed 60%. Director, the beanstalk cannot hold. The Saviorite rebels are very close to capturing it. We have no choice. Initialize IL. Prepare the conduit. Roger. Director, the conduit's authorization has failed. How come? We're locked out by Professor Klaus. We can't secure access from our side. What did you say? Trinity processes syncrate at 96%. That should be good enough. Let's begin the experiment. Professor, no! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once. Only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a gateway. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine Entity? The Conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold! Galea... We humans are fools. We've ravaged the planet. We are on the verge of burning even the skies above. But the Conduit... could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Galea, this... Is the birth of a brand new universe. Stop, Klaus! Fools, indeed. The time has come. Hello everybody, I'm Games to 522 and welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last video, we finally finished off Amalthus. Jin is gone too, and so now all that's left is Malos. Magrez elevator number one. Whoa, that was fast. Oh, there's a chest behind there. What is this? You're all mine. 
Wow, talk about prepping yourself. Anywho. here oh no we're still moving up it stopped moving perhaps we've arrived at the end point if we go outside we find out Good point. Let's have a look. Look up. The stars, they're close enough to touch. The other view is quite something too. Look at the cloud sea all the way down there. So this is the top of the world tree. Oh, that sound. Huh? What is that? It's Elysium. Elysium? This way. Let's check it out. It's been a while, father. Logos. Is that my real name? What's it mean? Logos. It has no meaning. All it represents is the ego of those who named you. How many years has it been? I forget. It has been far too long. You know why I'm here, don't you? I know it all. All that you experience is passed on to me here. Then, let's get straight to the point. Huh? No need to rush. My child, I'm fading. I'll be gone soon enough. Is that right? Then I'll take it all. Do as you wish. If you believe that is your role. <laughs> is that choice really mine? Answer me. This is what I came to hear. It is a choice you made, together. Good answer. Thanks for creating me. Ah. And here comes the other answer. All right, so now we're at the first orbit station. Also, there's a heart-to-heart -heart here. Okay, that's who we all need. Guess I'll go ahead and put them on so we can view this. Also, before we move on, I actually need to set Rex's blades because we have something that's going to be a little difficult coming our way here in a bit. All right. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. Okay, I'm gonna put on Cassandra, and I'm also gonna put on a healer. Uh, let's see. 
We will do... I'm trying to think. Fine, I guess I'll do Dahlia then. Woo! Looking forward to it. So wait, what are what are his driver actions with the ball? Touchdown. Oh, okay. I can go ahead and upgrade this. Two potions. Basically, I want to have healing, defense, and attack. That's basically my plan. So, we want to do that with Rex. Now then. Um, let's go ahead and get... Excuse me. Let's go ahead and get the group on. I will do my best to prove my worth. All right. How remarkable. That view down below is the world where we live, isn't it? So it would appear. I had no idea it was possible for humans to reach these kind of heights. And this world tree has been around since forever, too. I'm not sure I can keep up with what they're finding out here. Hey, Prince, look! Over down there! What is it? You see something? Look! Right over there! It's Genbu! That's gotta be Genbu! Seriously? Wow, you're right! That does look like Tantal. What are you talking about? Of course we can't see Tantal from all the way up here. We totally can, though! Come over and take a look! Frankly, I'm not interested. Oh, come on! You're no fun! We've come all the way to a crazy place like this. The least you can do is enjoy yourself a bit. I'm in the wrong here. Might I remind you we did not come here to have fun. Everyone needs to let their hair down once in a while, Bridget. Lady Morag. Myself, I have already spotted the Leftherian Archipelago. <laughs> what? Those tiny little islands? Well, what do you know? Morag's really getting into this. Come on, Prince! We can't let her beat us! No chance of that. Take a look over there. Huh? I can't see anything. Look real close. There's a tiny dot right there, see? I'm pretty sure that's Goldmouth, the Argentum HQ. Goldmouth? Are you certain? Where is this dot? I'm not seeing anything. Yes, that must be Goldmouth. I'm sure of it. You can see it, Lady Morag? Bridget, we must find something new ourselves, else I fear we have lost. When did this become a competition? If that is Goldmouth, would that be the maelstrom next to it? Um, well, I suppose it could be. Oh, look down there, Bridget. The Nopon sailors on board the maelstrom are waving to us. What? Uh, Morag, I think you might be pushing it a bit with that one. I tell you no lie. I saw it with my own eyes. Seriously? Uh, Lady Morag, I think you may just be seeing Tora's reflection in the window. No, you're wrong. I'm certain it was the crew of the Maelstrom. Hm. Well, that was a bunch of fun. Yeah, if I learned one thing today, it's that Morag hates to lose. Well then, that's done and over with. Well, we might as well go ahead and get moving. Well, this place is just completely different from the rest of the game, isn't it? Such a huge contrast between the world above and the world below. This is probably my favorite place in the whole game, honestly. Only because of the contrast itself. That's a big door. It sure is bright. Yeah, it's right through here. I'm sure of it. We've almost reached Elysium. Wow. 
What? What is this place? No. Uh, can this place really be Elysium? Where's the greenery? The water? Birdsong? There's nothing. Nothing here at all. What a wretched sight. I have not seen anything like this in all my years on Ulrest. Pyra! I don't understand. I don't get it. This... This is not how I... remember. That bell sound must be coming from somewhere. Is someone here? Hmm. Over there. Poppy detect one big thing, kind of like building, over that direction. Sound seemed like it come from there. That building, eh? Then there's no point hanging around here. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Let's go, Rex. All right. It might still be okay. Maybe it's just this bit that's destroyed. There's bound to be something over that way. So yeah, this is Elysium. We come all the way on this long journey, and this is what we find. Desolation. Come out, come out. I know trees like the back Searching of my database. hands. It's sad, really. This place looks like it was once a city, and quite an old one at that. It's actually a lot like the stuff we saw in Moritha. Way more dusty, though. Maybe because it's so dry up here. Huh? It seems to have been a child's vehicle. Right. So that means people lived here once. It must have been a grand old city. It stretches further than the eye can see. You could fit the entire population of all rest into this place and with room to spare. Yeah, just take it all in. Episode 51. This is what we reached. Well, this is where the bell was ringing. That it? The bells have stopped. A signal we should enter, perhaps? We probably should.
Welcome home, my children. Who's there? Father? What? You don't mean... The architect is here, but where? I am always here. Come to me. Please look! Over there is staircase. It seems to lead to a lower level. Hmm. Guess we have to. Well, this is just a sudden contrast, isn't it? You know, it'd be weird going down, walking down an escalator going down. I bet that's kind of hard. The building's holding up well inside. Quality of structural materials much better than in city outside. This made of same substance as World Tree itself. Same as the World Tree. Huh? Hey! Where is everyone? Pyra! Gramps! Pyra! Mithra! What is that? The Aldanian Imperial Army. Their equipment looks ancient. Like it's come from the past. What is up with this place? Nia! Jomark! I'm so glad you... Why, Rex? Huh? You told us Elysium was real! My lady and I traveled all this way at your behest. Master Rex, did you intentionally deceive us? I trusted you, you know. I came here because I trusted you! N Nia! Dromark, what are you talking about? How do you explain this? Y you've got it wrong. I told you. I promised Pyra to... Pyra. Oh, right. Pyra. Pyra. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Is that it? You've only got eyes for her. Get your head out of your ass. Nia, you're being weird. What is going on? My lady has given up everything for you, yet still you realize nothing. Even now you cannot see. I've been here all along. Why won't you realize? Look! Just look at me, Rex! See, now we have just Rex in our party. Time to and now... 
Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, let's go. I'm on to you. Pyra. Sure. As you wish. Gemini loop. It's okay. Thanks for that. Hey, we defracted. All right. Why not? There is no Elysium. Now, now let's show them what we're really made of. Yeah, yeah. so now we gotta fight. No, no, yeah, no, we're just no, fighting no, Nia right back. now. You may not survive uh, another blow. We can still win this. Everything we did. It's my turn. It's all wild side. I can still fight. I'm sorry. Answer me, Rex. Why did you lie to us? How could you betray our trust? Why would Nia and Dromok? You really are a fool. Ah! Morag? Bridget? Huh? Moradane? You're so thoughtless. Morag! Here you are, wasting time. And all the while, my countrymen are... Do you have any idea what you've done? What... What are you... You just run ahead, without a thought for anyone else, and this is the result! save anyone if only we hadn't come here i could have saved my people i could have saved niall if only it weren't for you rex but me i didn't mean to i hope you're happy now you've dragged us to some empty ruins i hope that was worth everything we sacrificed Alright, now we're fighting Morag. This one's a bit tougher, mainly because she is initially a tank. Okay, get the potions, do that. There we go. Always will be. I guess since my blades are maxed out in their affinity, they just deal a lot more damage as a result. But trust me, you will have trouble there. Please stop this. What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? For vengeance! What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I killed! N no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! What is this place? What's wrong with everyone? Pyra, Mithra, Grams, where are you? Where are you guys? Why Rex 
Let's Rex run. Tora. Puppy. Zeke and Pandoria. Don't tell me you're wrong. You having fun, chum? Playing the hero like the kid you are, stringing us adults along. Th that's, that's not... Rex Rex's bad friend. Why Rex Rex become driver when Tora cannot become driver? Tora tries so hard, and for what? It's useless! Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real too. Not fair! I bet it felt real good, didn't it? Getting special treatment from everyone. Getting chosen by the Aegis. Who decided you should have all that power? How about you hand it over to the prince right now? He deserves it. Stop it already! I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stop to consider all the things you left lying in your wake! Now we gotta fight Zeke and Tora. Let's try and take out okay. let's try and take Time out Tora to first if we can. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel my shots as best as I can here. Build my arts back up. Okay, let's do that. Okay, there goes Tora. We'll beat them with the power of friendship. Rolling smash. Oh, shut up. Rolling smash is good because they don't have good ether defense. Enough stop. Uh, Tora, Poppy. <sighs> No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? What? Huh? Gramps. This place. What is the point? Well, Gramps. What is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber, again and again, over countless years, until we become titans, to wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal? That's... Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts. It must be so much easier. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? I, 
I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. Come on. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Well, eat up. Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, uh, um, maybe this and this. There you go. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, do you want some wine? Oops. <laughs> You're too young. Silly me. Mithra, has something happened? What do you mean? It's just you're a lot nicer than normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands right now. Um, sorry. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Did you scrub them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay, then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um, it looks really good. Tastes even better. Of course it does. After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I want to do something nice for Rex, too. No cooking. Who's going to save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with... I'm happy with... <laughs> Rex. It's so strange. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Everyone's all wrong. They all said I... But now you too. Did... Did I go wrong somewhere? I think... That's enough. Please, Father. <laughs> 